What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to add a clock widget to your Windows 11 desktop. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. Having a clock widget on your desktop not only helps you keep track of the time, but also adds a personalized touch to your computer. It's a simple yet effective way to customize your workspace. We'll be using a handy app called Widget Launcher to add our clock widget. It's a free app available on the Microsoft Store, lightweight and doesn't strain your system. To begin, open your Start menu and search for the Microsoft Store. Hit Enter to open it. In the Microsoft Store, search for Widget Launcher using the search bar. You'll find Widget Launcher in the search results. It's a user-friendly app that's quick to download due to its small size. Once you've downloaded Widget Launcher, find it in your Start menu and run it. From here, you'll find three different styles of clock widgets. Digital clock, square clock and world clock. Each one has its unique appeal, so pick the one that suits your taste. Widget Launcher isn't just about functionality. It lets you personalize your widget too. You can tweak the theme, background, accent, border and font color, along with adjusting the transparency value. Customize the clock widget to fit your desktop theme or your personal style. Once you're happy with the settings, click on Launch Widget. Your chosen clock widget will now appear on your Windows 11 desktop. Feel free to move it around and place it wherever you like on your desktop. You can also resize the widget to make it as prominent or as subtle as you prefer. If you chose the world clock, you have the added benefit of setting it to any time zone, which is great for those who work across different regions. And that's pretty much it. With these simple steps, you now have a functional and stylish clock widget on your desktop. These steps and more information will be available in my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.